Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about the plus equal operator and how it's a bit different than just plus. So it's pretty common on even your first day of learning Python to do something like this, x equals 100. And then we can say x equals x plus one. And we discover that, what do you know? x is now 101. And what's going on here? Well, we say, okay, whenever you have assignment in Python, we evaluate the right side before the left side. So here we evaluate the right side, we get the integer 100 and we assign it to x, great. Then what happens in line two? Remember that the equals operator in Python is for assignment. It's not checking to see if two things are equal. That's the equal equal operator, all right? So if I say x equals x plus one, it's assignment, right side before left side. So first we evaluate this. What is x plus one? That becomes 101 and we assign the value of 101 to x, and sure enough, x is now 101. So far, so good. And then you find out that you can actually say instead x plus equal, not equal, equal, plus, plus equal one. And I often tell my students this is the same as x equals x plus one, because we get the same result. And this is basically true, mostly true, true enough. So I had a student uh, in the last week or two who discovered a place where this is not exactly true. And let me give you some background here. What if I say x equals 10, 20, 30? And now I say x equals x plus 40, 50, 60. Can we use the plus operator with lists? Absolutely we can. And so we end up with x is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And so then I can say x plus equal, you know, 70, 80, 90. And sure enough, we've changed x there as well. And this would seem to be the same kind of thing as we have with the integer, right? It looks like basically the same kind of behavior, but it's not, it's subtly different. And the difference is that lists are mutable data structures, whereas integers are immutable data structures. And so what's happening with integers is we are assigning a completely and utterly new object, a new integer object back to x. Whereas here we are modifying, when we use plus equal, we are modifying the existing x. Now it might not seem obvious from this because in this example, right, x equals x plus that and x plus equal, right? What, what's different? There is no difference. Well, let me show you a bit. If I say here def add first and second, and then I say here, um, first equals first plus second. Okay. Now I'm not returning anything. So this is going to be a little weird. You would normally, you know, normally, let me put a little warning here. Normally you don't want to do this for pedagogical purposes only. <laughs> so now if I say X equals 100, and then I say here, add of X and one, I can even say y equals one, so add of x and y. So what's gonna be the value of x? Well, let's think about this. I'm passing 100 and I'm passing one, right? So really this is the same as saying add of 101 because these are immutable objects. So I'm passing the integers, right? I'm passing references to the integers, but fine. And so at the end, x is still gonna be 100. You might say, wait, 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 how can that be? And that's because I have assigned two first here. Right, and so I've assigned to the local variable first. I've not changed anything on the outside. And in fact, let me take this here and put it into the Python Tutor, one of my favorite websites, and I'll show you exactly what's going on and who is referring to whom. And so now if I visualize the code, so watch what happens, I'm gonna do a print X here. So now I'm going to visualize the execution, define the function, so I have the add function. I'm gonna say X is 100 and Y is one, and now watch what happens. When I call add of X and Y, these are separate variables. And maybe I'll say first equals first plus second. So I'm gonna to assign to it, right? So first is 101 now, but that has no effect whatsoever on X. And of course, no effect on Y. So when we come back from the function, we print X, X is still 100. Okay, why do I care about this? I'm just gonna stay in the Python tutor now. So what if I were to say first plus equals second? Will that actually change anything? And if I have integers, the answer is no. I define my function, x is 100, y is one, add is x and y, and now what's gonna happen is, once again, I'm going to assign to first, first is 101, but that result disappears when the function returns. So why am I showing all this to you? Well, what happens if I'm not dealing with integers? What if I'm not dealing with integers at all, but rather I'm dealing with lists? And now I'm gonna go back to the first example here. I'm gonna get rid of this comment just because it's getting in my way. What if I say here 10, 20, 30, then I say here is 40, 50, 60. So what happens now if I say add of X and Y? 
Well, it's going to be a little different than before. It's still a reference to an object, but X is a list, Y is a list. And when we call, now first refers to that same list and second refers to that same list. So now I'm going to say first equals first plus second. Watch what happens. First is now going to be a brand new list. The result of adding X and Y, the result of adding first and second, because again, when we do assignment, right side before left side. So first this right side is evaluated first plus second, and the result from first plus second is assigned to first. First, the local variable. Have we affected the outside world? We have not. And so when the function exits, X continues to be just 10, 20, 30. All right, and now for the most important point here. If I change this to first plus equals second, now there's going to be a C change. Now add still function X, Y, I call out of X and Y. And now we're no longer saying first equals first plus second. We're running the plus equal operator, the in place add operator as it's known, I add, dunder I add in method terms, magic method terms. And so we are not going to be creating a new value. We are not going to be creating a new list and assigning it to first. Rather, we are modifying first. Aha. And remember, first and X are referring to the same list. We have thus not only modified first, we have modified X. And when the function returns, even though it doesn't return a value, X remains changed. And when we print X, we see the longer value. What is my point in showing all this to you? First of all, that while it's nice to talk about plus equal, the operator being the same as assignment to plus, it's not exactly the same. If you are dealing with mutable data, especially, I guess, only lists, I can't think of anything else that this would work on that's mutable. So if you're doing plus equal on a list, you are modifying the list object. You are not assigning a new value to the variable. This means that if some other variable is referring to that same list, you have modified not only the list, the original, like your list, but you've modified everyone else's list as well. You got to keep that in mind. This also explains all sorts of other odd behavior you might see with plus equal. So plus equal on lists, very, very useful, but also potentially dangerous. And again, my student a few weeks ago encountered this problem and wasn't quite sure what was going on. And I'm to blame because I always tell them, oh yeah, plus equal is basically the same as assignment to plus, not exactly the same. Plus equal is its own distinct method if that method is defined on the object. And so you're gonna end up modifying the object. All right, I hope that this clarified some things for you about plus equal. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, if there are more things you want to know in Python, feel free to reach out to me. You can always contact me on Twitter. And you can, of course, you are super, super invited to join my Better Developers mailing list, where every week I send out a new article about Python. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video about Python.